Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. We are live for the Player Ratings Show, which is going to be a little bit different this time. And I've gone live so quickly, I haven't even changed my uh, title here. Uh, player Ratings. Right, so not a good day at the office for the Springboks, who went down to Australia 28 points to 26. Yeah, not a good, not a good performance, not a good day at the office. And I think that, you know, we probably didn't deserve to win in terms of our overall performance, but we should have won because if Andre Pollard and Damien Billums had just learned how to kick, um, we would have been ahead. You know, it was, it's, we, 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 we the, the game was there for the taking, really. And the mark of a good team is to be able to play badly and still find a result. So you're allowed to have a bad day. We did have a bad day. I don't think we, ha- I mean, we've seen much better performances from the spring box before, but you can't, you can't kick like that. You you just can't, you know, you, I mean, Andre Pollard, if we're being very honest, I, I think Andre Pollard has to be dropped for next week. You know, it's, it's one of the, I mean, let's be honest, if, if, if Andre Pollard was a morning stay on Alton Yankees, if he was any of the other fly halves in the, in the squad, he gets dropped after that performance. So, very, very big calls to make for the coaching staff because there were some very, very poor performances from a couple of, of key players. Um, I thought Marcus Olo Pimpi didn't have his best day. I thought Lekanya Am didn't have his best day. I think Vili LaRue didn't have his best day. So I'm very interested to see what uh, the player ratings are going to look like. Um, if you haven't voted, I'm going to pin the comment there. That's where you go and vote for the player ratings. Go and give them a, a, a score between 1 and 10. We will only be rating the Springbox performances at the moment. We are trying something a bit different. Because I've got to jump over and be in a press conference um, very soon. Uh, so I'm not, unfortunately not going to have time. So we're also going to try and make it a bit quicker than usual. You know, sometimes this uh, this player rating show carries on for quite a long time. Um, but I want to try and keep it a bit shorter, a bit more sort of to the point. And then um, we will be live again tonight where we will then be um, going through this in a bit more sort of reflection. You know, go home. Or go back, uh, or, or if you're at home, you know, take a break, have a beer or two, settle on it, think about this, and then we're going to come back tonight and we're going to try and break it down and decide exactly what went wrong, why went wrong, and what are we going to do for next week? How do we fix this? That's that's what we need to try and do. Um, so please do go. I see a couple of people are currently rating, still rating the players. Uh, so I'm going to let you guys finish that up, and then uh, yeah, but but what are we standing? Where, where do we stand with? I mean, how many how many changes do we make? I suppose because. I think that we were probably planning on making some changes anyway. Um, but probably because more sort of that, I think the idea was today was to go out, get a victory, and then make some changes, give these guys a bit of a rest ahead of the All Blacks. But after that performance, you know, can you afford to rotate? But at the same time, I think you have to rotate. I think we do rotate, you know. Um because you can't, I don't think any player should ever be immune to criticism. I don't think any player should ever be immune to getting dropped. And I think there were some players today that, that could use a bit of time on the bench to say, listen, you know, if you're going to play badly, you will get punished. You know, take take a week and think about what you, what you did. You know, put them in the naughty corner because it can motivate some people. So I do think we need to make a couple of changes for next week. We'll talk a little more about exactly who I would change tonight when we do our live show. But um, I think Pollard, I, I don't think Pollard deserves to start next week. You know, and I know he's he's a World Cup winning fly half and he's he's the best fly off in the squad, but you can't play like today and and not not be punished at the end of the day. You know, you, it, it's it's a professional game. If you don't play well, you don't get picked. He didn't play well, so I think I think they they probably should look at dropping him. But uh, in terms of players who played well, I mean Malcolm Marks was an absolute beast off the bench. Um I think we have to keep him on the bench. I do I really do. I think that, you know, we, he's become so effective there that, that, that how do you sort of not, not sort of put him on the bench? Um, but yeah, so we are going to go through to um, the player ratings now. Um, and I said, we're going to try and sort of not, not rush through it, but I can't be spending too long on here. Um So I'm just busy trying to record the official one. Oh, 
Uh, cool. So I'm just busy trying to make. I'm trying to saw see what the story is with the press conference and stuff like that. Um. So yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna let's get into the player rating, shall we? Um. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm just a bit disappointed. I'm just a bit nowhere really. Um, it's it's just it sucks losing, doesn't it? <laughs> it really does suck losing. But let's get on to it. So Stephen Kitsoff, I want to try and bring out the stats and stuff like that. We are going to go through this a bit more quickly than than, than usual, so that I can get to the press conferences and stuff like that. Stephen Kitsoff made 11 tackles, missed just one, two carries. I don't think he was terrible today. I thought that he was a bit quiet, probably more quiet than than usual. But but wasn't 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 terrible. Um. So I'm probably going to give Stephen Kitsoff a six. I think that's fair. Six, I'd, I'd say average. And an average, and six is an average. So six point one. Yeah, we're on we're on the same sort of page. Bongi Manumbi scored a try to Bongi Manumbi. Um, wasn't his best game. I thought. I think if you've seen better games, he was a little bit quiet. Two carries, five tackles, one try. I probably give Bongi a five. Too. Although having said that, his minus work was pretty good. So six point. Yeah, I think I think six is probably more actually where I should be going with Bongs. Uh, France Moore Herbert quite a quiet day and. A big moment was when he was absolutely decimated by Angus Bell towards the end of the first half, but he also did have the better of Angus Bell a couple of times. Um, so, so France Malherber, I think probably also just a, a, a bit of a six, you know, um, which which you guys are agreeing with. So we're on the same page, which is which is what which is quite cool. Um, yeah, what are what are what are what are what are, what are, you, what are we saying in the in the in the in the comments here? So we're saying Paulo Costa, Pollard not performing lately. The ref was there, just give away cards. Also, Charles Shooter says, imagine Alton was as bad as Pollard. I'm not going to say anything about that because I didn't get told I'm an Alton fan girl, uh, but I agree. Pollard is maybe a bit too comfortable in position at the moment. Uh, Paul says that gives the box answer perspective. You have a fantastic team, but you waste a lot of talent. You have the style of play. Relying on your kicker to not have a stinker is dangerous. Look, I think if any look, if Quay Cooper doesn't have kick while well, they don't win today, so I don't think that. You know, you should be relying on any team relies on their kicker. Doesn't matter how good they are. Valencia looks promising. Look promising. I didn't kick particularly well, but he made a nice tackle. Um, play probably at center or fullback. He is a great player. Drop Larue. Well, we're not going to drop Damon Delendi or uh, Lacanya. Um, I will most likely give the whole forward six. Larue did nothing wrong to be dropped. Well, I got he had a card, but yeah. Um, So Evan Etzebeth, probably also a six. Um, wasn't his wasn't his usual self today, if we're being honest. Seven point three, I think it's a bit generous. Um chased hard for the thing, but I mean two I mean two carries and four tackles. So yeah, it's not it's not a particularly good outing for Evan Etzebeth. Lurt Yoga made a lot more tackles. He missed a couple of tackles. He was very good at the line outs. Four carry and um, four carries, thirteen tackles from him, but he did miss five tackles. So I'm also gonna give Lurt a six. Uh, I've gone straight past just to Khaleesi. Did I just vote for Khaleesi? Well, did I just give Khaleesi a six? No, Lua de Yaga meant to give a six. Sorry, apologies. Apologies. I'm having a mare here. 7.1. Yeah, I just think those five tackles are probably the reason I'm marking him down a bit. Uh, Sia Khaleesi also gets a six from me. Um, the yellow card, well, I don't think it was anything more than a yellow, but it was a big moment in the game. They did score immediately afterwards. So I will give Sia a six. Um, I don't think he did much wrong apart from that. Uh, two carry, seven tackles, didn't miss a tackle, one turnover, but yeah, it just wasn't wasn't the best. Franco Mostert, however, is going to get a good score for me because I thought he was once again just so, so good. Um, it's just that, it's that engine. I mean, two carries, 13 tackles, just one missed carry, missed tackle from him. And I mean, he's as good in the last blooming minute as he is in the first minute. He's a phenomenal, phenomenal player. Um Contender says, Imba number seven, please, guys, you can't be like, we play winning rugby, don't care about style. Then after one game, say this game plan is poor. Now, 100%, I'm not going to do that. Um, and people need to relax as well. You know, we've just, we've beaten Argentina twice. We've just beaten the Lions. It was going to be a hard to beat Australia at the end of the day. It's always hard to play Australia in Australia with crowds. It was going to be a big, difficult game. Let's not, let's not just freak out after losing one match. Um Keith says that Lacanya try was a big blunder, would have been seven points, then a few kicks from Poland game over, very disappointing. I mean, yeah, I get that, but also I think, I mean, the, that conversion from Poland, it wasn't hard. You know, it wasn't hard. We always do Australia a favor, all blacks the best. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, you're, in, you're on the wrong stream here, mate. Does that look like Flippin' Brody Metallic? No. I think Frank Moss is probably better looking than Metallic, which is, and Frank Moss is not the best looking player. Uh, sorry, guys, but we were poor. We didn't test them as much as we should with quick ball and out wide. 
Yeah, so so I'm going to give Franco Mostert a... I think I'm going to give him an 8. I think he was probably our best player that started. I think him and Marco Marks were our two best players. 7.3, I think I think he was much better than Dua Diago. I mean, to miss one tackle, make 13. Dwayne Fermin, I thought, was very average. He looked very, very rusty today, did um, Dwayne. A um, couple of high balls, which he almost sort of fumbled. So five carries, two tackles. Uh, it, it was it was always going to be a bit of a rusty performance from him, um, but probably a six. Uh, wasn't his best game. He's 6.5. We were there and there about. Uh, Faf Tukluk, he actually made quite a few tackles, but he missed a big one, which resulted in the try early on, in, uh, just after Sia Khaleesi got uh, sent off. His tackle success rate was he made eight tackles, missed two, one turnover, one. I think I'm gonna. I think we. I think we're gonna see sixes for most of this of this of of the the team. To be honest, so a six there for for Faf. So yeah, maybe actually. Yeah, no, no, actually, no. I think he actually didn't play too badly. I think his kicking was apart from one kick. Um, it was pretty 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 good. Now Pollard, I'm I'm giving a three. Fight me, but but what did he actually do right today? Five. Point... <laughs> Hold on, get a 5.7. Oh, dear, 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 dear. I'm sorry. Pollard missed. So his goal kick success rate was 57%. Okay, so he missed three kicks. He left eight points. He left eight points out there. He made, made his tackles, but he also had that really bad moment where he put Marcus on the pimpy and he threw it out. Um... I just he had a really bad game. How is he getting a five point seven? I actually don't understand how he's getting a five point seven. I I, I said I don't think I've seen Pollard play that badly in a box shirt, to be honest. Um, so I think that's very generous. Uh, Marcus Orma Pimpy, I didn't also I didn't think he had a particularly good game either. A couple of knock-ons, um, some you know he made two tackles, missed a tack, uh, two tackles. He beat two defenders around nine meters. A very very quiet game for Marcus Orma. So. Probably a six, six point four. Damon Day Lindy was actually pretty solid. Actually, I don't think he missed a tackle. Eight tackles, one missed. Um, Forty meters gain. It wasn't his best game, um, but he didn't have much to work off. So I'd probably give him a six, six point nine. The Am, yeah, didn't play well today, did he? Uncharacteristic from him because he's been in, in some pretty incredible form. Um, but I'd probably give him a five. I'll probably give him a five, seven point one. I think that's generous. I don't think he played particularly well. Uh, he butchered that try. Uh, I will say it, I think he did butcher that try. He had that knock on um, Pollard when he was sort of cutting back inside. Uh, he made his tackles, but it wasn't the Lacanio um, we've be, we've sort of come to come to expect really. Uh, Spoon Corsi, I thought tried really hard. He did a lot of. He got through a lot of work. You know, he chased down a lot of kicks. Didn't get much opportunity on the attack. Uh, he made made four tackles, missed five. Um, so I'll probably give him a five. Six point two. I'm I'm surprised people are actually being so generous, which is I suppose quite nice to see because we've got uh, we don't want to be too negative. But uh, really, really, I think it's a five for me. He wasn't great today. Five point eight. I mean, the fact that Pollard is almost beating Villa Rue is a bit childish. Malcolm Marks gets an eight for me. I thought he was really good today. I thought he made a huge impact when he came off the bench. Um, and I think that the reason that he has to start. I mean, he has to be on the bench because you need him at the end. He's just so clutch. Oxen chair was pretty good when he came out, actually. Um, won us that penalty by getting chopped. Uh, scrummaging was pretty good. I think I think I'm going to give him a seven, and I think I'm going to give Vincent Cocker a seven as well. Uh, I thought those two came off the bench and made a big difference. So six point seven. Yeah, it's not not too far. Marco van Staden. Uh, he gets to work as Marco van Staden. Um, I thought our bench actually came on and made a big difference. Um, he made five tackles, didn't miss one. Uh, so I'll probably give him a seven. Six point one. I think that's a bit harsh. Uh, Quaker Smith also gets a seven. Um, thought he actually, I thought he actually played very well when he came on. Six point four. Yeah, uh, I think that's also a bit harsh. I mean, that turnover he won on the ground where after that tackle was was huge. That was a huge. That was what scored us the try, by the way. It was that turnover that we then got to the corner, won a couple of penalties, and then scored the try. So without that intervention, you know, we're not going to be there. Jasper Visa probably gets a six. I think it was all right when he came on. Um, didn't make much of an impact compared to the other ones there. Um, Herschel, well, I mean, what are you supposed to do with Herschel? He gets a six. He was on for two minutes. Um, and then Damien is an interesting one with Damien because 
his kick, I mean, that kick was horrendous. It really was a terrible kick, that conversion. Um, but he also made a try saving tackle. So we would have definitely lost that. If he didn't make that tackle, we would have lost that game. So I'm probably, I'll, 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 it would have been a five with that kick. It would have been a seven without the kick and the tackle. So it had both. So I think a six is, I think we can all agree on a six. I'm betting you he'll have a low score. That six is fine. So we're there. We're there. Um, so yeah, it, was, it, was, it wasn't, as I said, it wasn't a particularly good performance. You know, I think, I think we've got a lot to, to work on and a lot that we need to try and get right. Um, but at the end of the day, you're allowed to have off days, I think, is, is probably the, the important thing. You're allowed to have off days, but you can't, not like a Pollard today, you cannot have a kicking performance like that if you want to win games. Imagine imagine we lose, imagine we lost today in the exact same fashion to New Zealand to lose the rugby championship. Now, Pollard has been really good for a number of years. He's a very, very good player under pressure. But today he let us down. He really did let us down. I don't think the referee had the best game today. I thought the first sort of half, I thought I was, he was sort of getting most things right. And then I thought he sort of fell apart in the second half. Um, but yeah, I, I think I think Pollard needs to probably be dropped. Um, so where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Um, so I, as I said, I don't go into this quickly, but the press conferences have already started. And I do want to start, I want to make sure I get them to, to stream it properly. So we're going to log off in a couple of minutes now. I just want to go through the comments. Um, Alton Chop Shooter says this voting is rubbish. Alton gets a four for a decent game. Pollard gets a 5.7 for a high performance. Yeah, I remember that Alton four. It was actually disgusting. Um, that was where I got caught a lot of abuse, but it was ridiculous, where he nailed every single kick. He made one bad kick to touch, and they gave him a four. Pollard misses eight points and gets a 5.7 after today. Um, for Munich, living on reputation, is he still best at eight? Look, it's his first game back from injury, so... Expect rustiness. I don't, I'm not worried about um, Dwayne. They all play badly. I think that's if you think that, I don't think you watched the game. I don't think you watched Malcolm Mark. I don't think you watched Frank Mustard. Final kiss says Pollard won. Um, K. David says Pollard was cuck. Uh, Bach Blind Oaks gives Pollard five. Philly six. I think he has one World Cup cycle left in him. Well, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure about um, the, if he has got a World Cup in him. Does does Dwayne from here? Uh, Paul needs to be brought back down to earth, release him from Bach duties. He needs to prove himself again. I wouldn't go that far, but I do think he needs to be dropped from, from next week's. Contender says, my squad next week is in chair, Imanambi, Koch, uh, Etzebeth, Mostert, Khaleesi, Vermeulen, and Visa. I don't, I don't, I don't want to see Vermeulen on the, on the, on the flank. I think you keep Mostert on the flank. I think it's working. Reynach, Young Keys, Mapimpi, Delendi, Creo, Colby, LaRue. Um, not bad. Uh, I think overall is bad performance. The question is, what is our game plan? Um, we'll talk about that tonight. Rusty Bar is organizing a camp style throughout at the moment. Uh, why do we not talk about the ref with our captain? Michael Hooper had about eight chats with the ref got into his head. Uh, watch how we win our next few games from that bad performance. I hope so. I hope so. You know, we, we are a team that can bounce back. Uh, Pollard was through at best. Hi, FMTSG. Hope you're well. Yankee should come in for Pollard and Lord Stain in for Willem, sir. Delendi, Delendi, uh, overrated. No, I don't think he's overrated. The box need to win all their games for the bonus point if they want to retain the cup. Well, nothing like a mandate. Um, the box need to wake up. They would be the world champs. Choose the right people before Pollard got famous. Mornay Stain is the man. Ugh, I wouldn't go Mornay Stain, to be perfectly honest. Um, look at look at how quick the game was today. Um, maybe on the bench, I suppose you could you could have him. Michael Huber slide cheat on the ground. Yeah, I think you should have been penalized more about that. Part loss of the game, nothing more to say. Jalen was quiet versus Sami Karevi. Right. Well, I'm going to call it there, people, because I do need to get into this press conference. Unfortunately, um, once we get uh, more people involved in the channel, then hopefully we can try and uh, do this a bit longer and still get press conference stuff like that up. The press conference will be live on Forever Sports for members. So if you are a member, you can go and head over there right now, and we'll start um, streaming it there. Um, but yeah, apart from that, smash like on the video. Do subscribe to the channel as well. I'll see you guys tonight where we can try to break this down a little bit more and talk about exactly what is what. Um, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys all very soon.